While the war between Russia and Ukraine is still not over, the world witnesses another war between Israel and Palestine. The cause of this war stems from the long-standing conflicts over religion, culture, politics. And I always believe that every architectural work is a great storyteller. So let's explore part of the cause of this war through the stories of the important religious buildings in Jerusalem, a hot spot in this conflict. First, let's learn about one of the holiest places of Judaism, known as the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem. In 70 CE, Israel was invaded by the Romans, and to reclaim their country, the Jews organized a revolt. But failed. After this failure, the Jews were expelled from Jerusalem, and their holiest temple was destroyed and only a wall remained, which is the current Western Wall. Since then, deep in every Jew's heart has been the desire to return to their holy land, their homeland Israel. And since then, there has been almost no Judaism here and Christianity has developed very strongly. The Romans began to name this place Palestine and built the Holy Sepulchre Church of Christianity in 335 and located 800 meters from the collapsed Temple of the Jews. Until the 20th century, when the faith and desire of the Jews to return to Jerusalem was strong enough, it developed into a movement called Zionism. This movement even attracted the British Empire, which was occupying Palestine at that time, so in 1917, the British promised to establish a homeland for the Jews here. But before that, in 1915, the British also promised to establish an independent kingdom for the Arabs here, in Palestine. From this disastrous promise, many Jews began to immigrate to Palestine to buy land, build settlements, and self-govern. They were moved to return to their sacred land after centuries of exile around the world. They went to the collapsed temple, put their hands on the remaining wall and began to pray. This old wall was very important to them because it was like a historical witness telling the world that this place used to be the land of the Jews, the land of ancient Israel. But behind this emotional return was the hateful eyes of the Palestinians looking at them. Of course, how could the Palestinians who had lived here for centuries accept these uninvited Jewish guests? Palestinians believe they are being blatantly robbed of their country, but the Jews also had their reasons. And so many riots, wars broke out between the two sides, but only on a small scale. Until 1948, when the British army felt they could not solve this growing conflict anymore, they decided to withdraw and let the Jews and Palestinians do whatever they wanted. Immediately, the Jews declared the establishment of Israel and were ready for a long war with anyone who threatened their sacred land, because they knew that there were not only Palestinians among Arabs in this Middle East region. But after many fierce wars, perhaps everyone realized that peace was a more long-term solution than anything else. As a result, in 1993, leaders from both sides signed the Oslo Accords to establish peace for both nations. But alongside the efforts to find common ground by leaders, there were still extremist elements among people on both sides who did not want to compromise. Notably, on the Palestinian side, these extremists have established a new state called Hamas. This is also the main character that sparked the current painful war. This war has taken thousands of lives of innocent people. I'm not sure who will win in the end and get the land they want, but I'm sure what they lose will be more valuable, which is the trust of the people. Before he died, Jesus forgave those who persecuted him. After reclaiming Mecca, Muhammad also forgave his enemies. These are the characters that the Jews and Arabs worship, but it seems that these extremists have clung to religion and faith of the people to make an excuse to satisfy their selfishness. Thank you for watching the video until now. If you like it, please press like and subscribe to Archer Discover channel to support me. Goodbye and see you again in the next video.